So we're lucky enough to be down here at Port Elliot, Port Elliot, South Australia. Probably not a real well-known wine region, is not it? Not a big region. We're Part of the Currency Creek wine region? Correct. Correct. Yes. yes. Sounds like it is my way, didn't it? <laughs> or you told me just a second ago. So, uh, Il Cativo. Yes, Il Cativo. So, How do you say it? Uh, Il Cativo. That's much, much, better, <laughs> much better. So that's, um, yeah, it's a, a name generated from, from my surname, basically. I'm Anthony Catanari and this is Chateau Il Cativo. And um, uh, my nickname's always been Cat, and basically the background behind it is as a young boy, and probably even now, I've always been in a bit of trouble in my life. So based on that, Il Cattivo translates to the naughty boy. Right. So that's the, uh, the background behind it. Okay. Well, we're going to... Oh, we're gonna... oh, yeah, we might as well do the, finish the introductions while we're at it. Right. So <laughs> what's, your, what's your role in that? Okay, the... so my role is uh, basically I've always loved wine, loved drinking wine, and uh, I had this passion for it and um, when I bought this property I decided that I thought well I'm going to plant some grapes and uh, plant something of my heritage. And so when, when was that? That was I bought this property in 2015 and planted the grapes the Montable Chano and Fiano in 2016 and um, uh, and from that at uh, that time I also went and studied out at uh, Barossa TAFE with under Sam Kurtz did a wine making okay. course out yeah. there and uh, learnt the, the, you know, the background and uh, um, the basics of winemaking. And I was very fortunate enough to ride with my friend Richard. Uh, we right. met, started talking about wine and my passion for it. And he said, well, you know, I do it also, so let's hook up and make some wine. And that's basically how we started. Okay. Mm. Give us a little brief history of yourself. So, my, yeah, my background is from the, the wine industry as well. So, um, I guess, yeah, Anthony and I, as he said, alcohol was involved in when we... Um, <laughs> Started talking about. Started it. talking about this. So, like most um, good things, yeah. and so I have um, a few roles within the wine industry. So I actually make wine for another wine company down in Robe. Um, I also import French oak barrels as well. So I wear a few different hats. Oh, and, and, plug yes. yourself. Yeah, feel, yeah, 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 feel yeah, free. There you go. No, yeah, yeah, <laughs> have a plug. Um, so you import French barrels. Yes. Okay. Yes. So a little cooperage um, out in Cognac, in fact. So. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we're here for the Grenache series, obviously. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about your Grenache. Have you got a passion for Grenache or? Yeah, uh, funny enough, it started um, when I used to make uh, wine with my dad, with mum and dad and uh, my uncles. So the Grenache had a different process than what we do here. It was um, picked and pressed almost on the same day and generally came out yellow and you could almost run your car on it. And <laughs> right. so, and really, it was really enjoyable with lemonade. So that's how. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the background behind the uh, the Grenache, and um, I've always loved it. Um, you know, I love big wines and um, and light style wines, and I've always drank Grenache my whole life. And um, so we had discussion. You know, let's let's make Grenache. It's something we like to drink. Yep. Let's make something we would like to drink. Is basically what it was. And, uh, okay. So then, and how how have we made it? Obviously, there's a few different ways. Two to different processes. Make, yeah, to yeah. make Grenache. Um, well, grapes are sourced from uh, Blue Spring, which is. Great, uh, Grenache, great Grenache, 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 yeah, that's it, that's it, you know, nice sa sandy loan profile through there, and um, basically, well, we'll run through, Rich, we're going to run through, basically, yeah, more the well, process of how we do that. Yeah, I think we've come a long way. From we've come a long way, <laughs> yeah, we have come a long way. But oh, certainly, um, so Lewis the Springs is where we source the, the Grenache from. Um, once what sort of old... Old bush vines? Yeah, it is. Yeah. No, yeah. So it's actually, old. we're really lucky. It's a 50 year old vineyard, bush vine, so it's all tended by hand, so it's pruned, it's harvested by hand. Um, so we receive the fruit in, in fantastic nick. Yeah. And so in the winery, we throw a lot of winemaking at it. So I guess fundamentally the fermentation is done in open fermenters with roughly well, 10 to 15, 10 to 20 percent um, whole bunches. Whole bunch. yeah. um, we tend to like the if the bunches have started to lignify as well, so you get a bit more. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Just explain that for the oh, moment. Right, yeah. So in other words, basically the, where the, the stem that the bunch hangs off, if that starts to go brown, normally it's green, as it starts going brown, I guess um, that you're not going to get any green character from it either. Yeah. So, Rip uh, it out. <coughs> Sorry? Get rid of it? If it no, starts going well, brown or? No, no, no. It's actually a good thing. It's good. It's actually a good thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but then, yeah, a whole bunch of them, we crush grapes on top of that as well. We handle the fruit pretty gently because Blue Springs fruit tends to be quite feminine and pretty and really I think um, you know we're looking for prettiness and, and perfume in, in our Grenache um, so typically it stands about 10 days on skins the day before it gets pressed we jump into, jump the, in into the fermenter yep. pigeage to break up all of the whole bunches um, well, I'm just imagining you two doing it. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it's not a pretty sight. No, no, no. It's <laughs> not not I bet you're enjoying yourself. No, oh, yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. 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 So, so we'll dance um, together while we're So, yeah, the pigeage, and then the following day, we'll then, we'll then press pretty much run it straight to work without any settling. Mm. And we use all old, uh, all old French, uh, ideally punches, so that is 500 litre barrels with a spattering of hogsheads as well. Made to drink now? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yep. <clears throat> absolutely. So yeah, it's not a. How long could you lay it down for? Oh, look, five, five to eight years. Yeah? Yeah. So yeah, you'd have to buy at least six or 12. Yeah, A absolutely. couple now, a couple, yep. of, the, couple yeah. of years' time. So to drink now, Yeah. 2020. Yes. Good vintage? Yeah, it was actually. Yeah. It was quite yeah, a warm vintage as well. And to me, I think Grenache does like a little bit of heat. In the warmer vintages, you tend to get a bit more generosity, but a bit more perfume as well. Whereas the cooler vintages, you tend to get more sort of pepper. Um, and pepper who, who chooses when, when we're picking it? Who, who says, right, let's go? Well, basically, well, you're walking down the, uh, the road, tasting taste, the fruit. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Fruit. Yeah. We argue amongst ourselves, yep. and then we say, <laughs> we do a bag crush, go through it. Yeah. And what bow may are we looking for? In the 13s. Yeah. I think it tends to be about the number, but it, fundamentally, that's a moving target from year to year as yeah. well. It right, let's have, a, let's have a look at it. Yeah. Describe it to me colour wise. I'll go first, I'll be the layman because I'll, yep. I'll take about three seconds where you might take about a minute but um two two okay <laughs> might have to get another glass um it's quite it's quite dark mm -hmm. um a lot darker than i actually thought it would be what are you striving for in the color because it, it's important isn't it the, the color well, is look it is the, the appearance of it i guess you want to have a brilliance to the, the color of it as well yeah. so um but yeah you know, for me grenache should be well it should be transparent, as you say. You should. Yep. Um, it, it's a to me, it's a medium weight wine. A lot of fruit. Yeah, it's very fruit forward. A lot of fruit. Those, yeah, yeah, straight off the bat. Yeah, cranberry, red currant, um, but spice. Yep. Yeah, we're talking about cedar, um, that sandalwood like character, that perfume mm. as well. To me, that's um, well, one. I think it's a, a function of the variety Grenache, but then also I think it's a function of where it's grown as well. So, it's a, <coughs> absolutely cracking wine. It's. Um, I'm almost going to put on the dangerous scale, I think, because it's very easy to drink. Yep. What um, alcohol content is it? Uh, about 13.2. Okay, so it's not massive. No, 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 but I don't think Renault should be massive no. either. But, you know, to, well, and certainly in this style, it, you know, it's pretty, it's feminine, it should have some delicacy about it. And not what's on the tasting notes, because someone probably wrote those, but what, what would you pair with it food-wise? Uh, well... The background is we mostly cook Italian food, so oh, yeah, funny, about, fun, that, funny yeah. about that. So you know we put it with you know pizzas, pasta, um, you know lamb roast. That's what I'd be putting it with. Yeah, yeah easily. Yeah, mostly. yourself. Yeah, you um, don't have to agree with him. No, no, no. no but who knew with the paella? Yeah. I know that. I already, I already know <laughs> Actually, where he's going. Yeah. <laughs> I already know where he's Actually, going. Actually, it does work well with paella. Yeah, it works very well so, with paella. Um, albeit Spanish, but. Mm. Um, Oh, it does. Yeah. It does work well, but I think that's the nice thing with Grenache is it, it lends itself to a wide variety of food as well. Whilst you cut it up, let, let's talk about Grenache as a 
wine for food pairing. I, I think myself, being the layman, think Grenache is more of a lunch wine. Mm -hmm. I would say it's a lunch wine. Because I'm having a really big steak and a big Shiraz. So I'm thinking Grenache. Uh, late after, let's say late afternoon. Family barbecue, family. Easy there. I think pizza so. Pizza Not too big. Out. I know nice, you're discreet. Full of fruit. You have done a whole show. And I do so. actually, because yeah. I think you're actually doing Grenache a bit of a disservice. Because for me, oh, Grenache, Grenache is just fine. Right? Right? Yeah. I like oh, yeah. it. Yeah. I'm yeah. trying to love it. Not too. Love it. Press that button. Press that button. Press the knife on the button. Grenache. Grenache is really complex as well, and so and and it does lend itself to lunch because it is medium weight and it's you know, it's a pretty drink to drink yeah. at lunchtime. But also you know, with with dishes like duck and it, it is a very complex wine as well. So I think um, everybody mentions duck. You know, one actually goes shoots one, plucks it, cooks it. I'm gonna have to bring it up, aren't I? <laughs> Could have, would have went well with pizza. Would have went well with pizza. Anyway, duck is the perfect pairing. Exactly. So we've got pizza as a secondary. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But right. I think um, I think you know Grenache is a very complex variety as well, and so it does lend itself to you know for dinner as well. Yeah. Um, All right. This is what's arguing with me, doesn't it? Well, yeah. this is no, it. no, fair enough. Yeah. I've only been wrong once. I didn't admit it. But no, no, fair enough. <laughs> um, so your Grenache, not everyone's Grenache, but you, your Grenache is going to go perfectly with this pizza. Correct. Obviously, you made the Grenache, you made the pizza. That's right, sure. yeah. So, so concurrently. What, what's going to change? What's going to ch change in the taste of the Grenache with the pizza? What's, what's it going to complement? Well, I think you look at the prosciutto that you have, and you know, prosciutto, lots of fat. It's going to make the Grenache look a little bit softer. It'll bring out more of the fruit, though, as well. It'll accentuate the fruit character. But also, for me, it'll soften the tannins. Those immediate things, soften the tannins? Yeah. Tannins? Yeah. That pizza's that good, you don't even need wine with it. That is a cracking pizza. Good. But, perfect pairing. Perfect pairing. And you're right, the tannin disappeared. Mm. Might be because you sneaked in the 2019 rather than the 2020. No, no, good work, good work. <laughs> it's a lot softer wine. Oh, you anyway, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the camera was off, that's yeah. fine. But that is a perfect pairing. But I like pizza for lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I like something heartier for dinner, so. Yep. I'm still calling it a lunch one. I'm gonna. We'll have to agree. agree, agree. We'll agree. Yeah. We'll agree. Yeah. This yeah. I'm right. But yeah, that's fine. <laughs> what about you guys? You know. Oh, I'm gonna have a piece now. You're gonna have a piece now? Yep. Yeah, you go. go. You got. You got to at least do it. I'll, I'll. I'll continue talking while you guys have have a little sum. Thank you very much. The layman who's watching the show. Where, where can they access this amazing Grenache? Where do they get it from? Um, the retailers. Well, the Firstly, uh, on our website, yep. that's the first thing, Il Cattivo website. So if they go on there, they can purchase it through that. Um, we do distribution through the city, so we, and, and free delivery. Free delivery? Free, free delivery, yeah, yeah, through the city. Um, also, there's a number of uh, um, merchants out there that have got it. Um, East End, good, Goody Sellers, um, Region Sellers, a few others have got it. Yeah. And if your bottle shop doesn't have it, they should definitely get on board. Ask yeah, for it. Definitely get on board. Ask yep. for it and give you a call. And Let's get it out there. So it's um, we need that hidden secret of Blue Springs out there, don't we? Mm. It's uh, I don't know if the people that live there want everyone to know, to about, know about it. it but yeah, it's a little slice of heaven, isn't it? Mm. It's yeah, it's a wonderful part of the world. Yeah, yeah and so obviously the uh, Grenaches is probably its shining light, but it, it is a beautiful place as well. Mm. And it's, it's weird because there's a lot of new people have moved into there recently as well, and the whole um, culture of the area is changing and it's becoming this little mecca for winemakers mm. as well. So I think Blue Hill Springs, it's on the map now, yep. but it's our job to help put it on the map more. Mm. And with making cracking wines like these, you guys are doing a great job. So what about socials? Are you on any social media? Or, uh, or? Well, we've got, uh, we're on Instagram yeah. and uh, under Il Cattivo and, um, oh, and the website, that's basically the yeah. moment. Yeah. So no Twitter, no Facebook? No, no Facebook, no. Nothing? No, nothing. No LinkedIn? No. No? Right, eh? so just Instagram? Just Instagram. Okay, yeah. any, um, what are we doing on there? Any tasting notes? Any? Uh, we're getting a bit more help from our uh, marketing manager yep. standing over there <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> to start to start to create a bit of a story around it a bit more. So at the moment, it's just a bit of a fun uh, Instagram site that yep. you know, just 
talks about what we do and we talk about some other wines also and how we enjoy it. You know, we support local South Australian wines, so we bring them up on our website also. It's not just, right, not just about us. Yep. What's your favourite Grenache that's not yours? Um, there's two. I've got uh, a Chatter, obviously, yeah. and, um, and um, the other one I like is um, Yolumba. Okay. Love that Grenache. Yeah. Um, Yangara, so Peter Fraser. Yangara, think, yeah. Yeah, what Pete's up to with Yangara and Grenache is bang on. Mm. He's, yeah, and I agree with, and Tarasenko. Tarasenko, yeah. I, I yeah, yeah, sadly. Yeah, unfortunately. With part, I think, what his wife has been doing, but with the 21 vintage, the wines are lovely, mm. and I think they're right in the groove still. What's, what's your call for the 21 vintage? Great. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Um, our Grenache is still in barrel at the moment. Yeah. It's probably be bottled in the, the near future. Oh, it's still so in it's barrel, right. is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we'll yeah absolutely. We'll oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's hinting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, maybe we'll go for a little bit. We'll go for a little bit. We'll go for We'll bring you out there in a minute. Yeah, for a barrel taste in a minute. No. Awesome, guys. Blew me away. I love the labels, too. You've got to quickly give the plug of who did the labels. Uh, okay, so the labels were a um, bit of a creation, well, by myself and uh, Mash Design, uh, Dom Roberts, he does okay. a lot of uh, wine labels out there, and basically wants to reflect what we're about, being a bit, you know, being a bit cheeky and a bit silly, um, so, you know, want to have someone um, uh, on the ball, and obviously, Is that you? Is that that's you? me standing that's on the ball, ball yeah, that was, ball, yeah. that was pre, um, yeah, I changed my hairstyle. I thought, yeah. I thought it was a wig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, the ball, you know, peeing into the into the glass, which obviously represents what we've got in the bottle. No, well, well, high quality, high piss. quality. Yeah, very good piss. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. That's the so, only bit we'll put on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and then obviously on the on the you know the back of it represents a bit of what we are. So you know, Il Cartivo produces great wine for naughty boys and yeah. girls who like to misbehave. So um, right. Take that how you will. So I'm, I'm guessing you've got a fairly large market out there then? Yeah, yeah, very large yeah. market, yeah, yeah. Cheers to you both. Thank Cheers. you very much. And um, I might just have to take that with me. <laughs>